Hello, I'm Kyle Brad from Shopper Motorsports, and today I want to introduce you to the Motordome jacket from Highway 21. This is one of several pieces in their fall 2019 collection, so stay tuned as we give you the detailed breakdown of this neat new jacket. The Motordome jacket is a homage to America's first motorcycle board track race complex constructed in Los Angeles in 1910. This leather jacket stands out against the crowd with diamond stitch accents and dual chest vent pockets for added storage. The Motordome features a removable thermal liner for when those cool mornings become hot afternoons. And as with most Highway 21 products, it features a generous carried conceal pocket. Now some of the striking vintage features of this jacket are gonna be the racing stripe here across the front and on the sleeve. This is a very unique styling that was very popular for a really long time. The quilted detail that you notice in the shoulders and down here at the cuff is gonna be a great throwback aspect to this jacket. Now Highway 21 is calling the color of this jacket antique black. I'm gonna say it's more along the lines of a dark coffee. It's a very black color that has a brown highlight to it, if you will. You're gonna notice that as we get in on some of the close-up detailed shots of this jacket. Now we talked about some of the vintage looks or features of the jacket, let's dig into the details. This brand new for fall of 2019 vintage style jacket is gonna be 100% genuine leather. It features YKK zippers throughout the jacket. Now when it comes to the sleeves and to the main zipper, they are a two-way zipper. So you can zip from the top down or from the bottom up so you can get that perfect fit. You're also gonna have two chest pockets that double as vents. Those, there's a vented material on the inside that flows straight through to the jacket. So if you're not using the quilted liner that's on the inside, you are gonna get some pretty decent ventilation there. Now that we've covered the intake vents, there are also two large vertical exhaust vents on the back of this jacket. In discussing ventilation, here on the forearm, you've got that two-way zip that I talked about. You can function that two different ways. If you zip it up, you can have a larger cuff that's gonna allow air to flow in through the bottom. And if you zip it down from the top, you're gonna have a vent that's gonna open up to a perforated leather vent here on the inside. Now the only other zippered feature on this jacket is going to be the hand warmer pockets. They are matched on each side and they are the same size. So your hands are going to feel the same as they go into those pockets. When it comes to snap closures on this jacket, we're going to have a snap here at the collar, covering the zipper, keeping the top of the jacket nice and secure. Now down here at the side, there's going to be three different button configurations so that you can get the perfect fit for your particular body. On the inside of this jacket, we're gonna find a quilted liner. Now this liner is gonna be a full sleeve, a full length sleeve liner. It's gonna allow you to have maximum warmth when it's cold, and it's gonna allow you to have maximum ventilation when it is removed. There are two pockets on the inside of this jacket. One is built into the quilted liner itself, and the other is a Napoleon style pocket that doubles as a carried conceal pocket. This pocket is large and has ample storage space for anything that you would like to carry in it. Now let's move to some of the internal features of this jacket. I'm first gonna lay it here on the table so we can get a good picture of what those features look like. I'm then gonna put this jacket on my body. Now this is an extra large jacket. I typically wear a large. Um, in all of the other pieces in this collection that I have tried on a large, they have fit me perfectly. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this jacket follows suit as far as the sizing goes. Now, let's get this thing on the table so we can get a closer look. Now before we dig into the internals of this Motordome jacket, I'm gonna let you know that while it has a really good feel on it, it is nice and supple, it is very thick, so it has a very robust feel to it. Now opening the jacket and getting into the internals here, you're gonna notice that this quilted liner zips all the way around from one side to the other. It is a full length sleeve liner that we'll see here in just a second. Now before we jump into the liner, let's take a look at this carry conceal pocket here on the side. It closes with a snap and it goes down to about this size right here. What we already have concealed inside this pocket is a nice little clip here. So you can see just how large it is and just how well it does the concealing. All right, moving on to the liner. We're gonna go ahead and unzip it. It's gonna zip all the way around. I really like that feature. Some jackets just have side zips on the side and they really don't connect across the neck and the shoulders, but I really like a jacket that has that full connection all the way around. Now on the end of the sleeves, we're gonna have a snap that's holding that liner in place. It's gonna look like this right here. I'm just gonna unsnap that so that we can get this liner to slide out. And actually there are two of them. 
There's a gray one and a black one, color-coded so that the sleeve doesn't twist when you're putting it back in. Now with those two snaps undone on each side, we can go ahead and slide our comfort liner out of the jacket. You're gonna notice that the liner does have a slit in it so that when you have those forearm vents open, you can still get a little bit of venting, even though it is quilted and insulated. We're also gonna to wanna to undo our snaps down here at the very bottom, one on each side that holds the liner in place. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier was this jacket does have a pocket in the liner. It's uh, large enough for any of today's modern smartphones. Now, the first thing you'll notice when I get that liner out of here is you see a back protector pocket. Now, there is no back protector in here from the factory, nor shoulder or elbow armor, but their pockets do exist, so you can add the armor of your choosing. Another thing you might notice is this zipper down here at the bottom. If you happen to be a rider that likes to put patches on their garments, it kind of sucks when you have a quilted liner or even an internal liner like this that allows the jacket to be more breathable. Um, when you want to attach patches, sometimes you have to go through this liner and then the fit of the jacket gets compromised a little bit. This zipper at the bottom allows you to have complete access to the inside or the external layer, I should say, of this jacket, allowing you to be able to make that addition of patches to the jacket much easier, simpler, and more effective. All right, so this here is the Motor Dome jacket in an extra large. It is a size too big for my particular frame. Again, I'm five foot nine, I weigh 195 pounds, and this jacket is just a little bit too big, basically everywhere. The sleeve is a little bit too long, it's a little bit bulky, and I think that the size large would be a perfect fit. So these do run true to size. Now I do wear a 34 waist pant and I did bring the cinches here on the side in one snap to give me the proper fit here around the waist. But again, this jacket's one size larger than I would normally wear. So if I was in the large, I probably would not need to adjust those snaps at all. Now when it comes to, to fit and finish and feel, this is a very nice feeling jacket. It has a good feel on the body. Um, hand wore pockets are of ample size and they are the same size. Moving up here to the vented pockets, you can see that when they're open and your arms are in the riding position, they stay kind of pooched open, they're gonna be able to accept air. And then when you're in the standing position, they kind of close themselves up again. Now, as far as the size of these pockets go, they come down to about here and are about as wide as a cell phone. Now, while still on the topic of vents, let's take a look at the exhaust vents. You can see that the exhaust vent comes all the way down here on the side, vertical, which makes it nice. If you happen to be wearing a backpack, the front vents are gonna be less effective because the shoulder straps come over the top, but the exhaust vents will still remain fully effective. Moving down to the vents on the arms, you got two different ways that you can function it. You can zip down like that in order to get the perforated leather here on the inside to go ahead and channel air into the sleeve of the jacket. The other way you can do it is to be able to close that guy and open from the bottom. This is gonna allow you to have air rush into the sleeve of the jacket as you're riding down the road. Now, please note that if you do have this zipper open, the cuff is much larger and will not stay in place in the case of a get off. So highly recommend that you use your zippered vent from the top down for the most protection. As far as this front main zipper goes, it's a very robust zipper as well. It's full metal. In addition to the zipper pull itself being metal, the teeth of the zipper are metal as well. Now the zipper can function from the bottom up or from the top down. Now you're gonna get in and out of the jacket the same way you would get in and out of most all jackets, and that is from the bottom zipping up. But once the zipper is in effect, you can adjust it from the top or the bottom. On an extremely hot day, you can leave the snap button here at the top, zip the zipper down, and that will allow lots of airflow to come directly in to the chassis of the jacket. If you happen to be sitting on your motorcycle and you're getting a bunched effect here at the top, you can loosen or unzip the jacket here at the bottom. With a zipper in this configuration, that will allow the jacket to spread a little bit and will allow the jacket to sit flush against your body. Now, while I'm wearing the jacket, let's take a look at that convenient concealed carry pocket. Notice the snap is gonna be the snap closure here on the front. And then inside the pocket, you have ample room to store just about anything you'd like. It's really accessible down here. There are several large elastic bands at the bottom of the pocket that will keep anything that you put into this pocket secure. 
And there you have it. This is the Motordome jacket from Highway 21. This is part of the fall release collection that they're bringing out in 2019. If you're going after the vintage look and want features and benefits of a modern jacket, this Motordome is one that you should probably take a look at. I'm Carl Bradge from Shopper Motorsports. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more action like this coming directly to your email inbox, please hit that subscribe button and more importantly, the notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. Until next time, as always, take care and ride safe out there.